Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50, uh, second round match between Kruppi and his Chofs and Andri and his Tomb Guardians, Kemri that's what they're called. Oh yeah, Cyber's Chaos are the best team, but this is this is definitely up there, right? This is a really good Chof team. Um, Andri has got a Babe and a Bribe and Ramtut because his team is very, very small. Um, he, he's got a... Tackle Pommer, which is all right, but there's just hardly any skills on the team, really. And it's uh, yeah, very, very bare bones team. Um, and he's up against it because Krupi's got a really nice team, really nice. Lords of Guard, Lords of Mighty Blow, Lords of Stand Firm uh, on the chalk blockers. And a strength four claw Pommer is amazing, isn't it? Completely amazing blocker there. Two perfect bulls with non stats. Uh, like the absolute typical what you what you aim for and can reasonably get right. It's really hard to get legend bulls, but seventy six is seventy six and one double is 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 like kind of perfect. So they've got two of them, dirty player, two dirty players. The only thing is he's missing a carrier. He's got the bare bones sure hands, but um, yeah, Hancock. Yeah, not everybody, not everybody is lucky as Hancock. <laughs> but um, he's got one block. Hasn't he? But then he's got two rookies. He's got two rookie Tomb Guardians and one block one. So, you know. He would have taken block if he'd rolled any skills for them. I'm sure. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty... It's a pretty messed up team. But, I mean, Ramtut's really good, isn't he? Um, but, yeah, the strength for Clop, and we can just Clop on Tomb Guardian every turn. Or claw mighty because he's scared of the DP. TG not solid. Yeah, so he's. I mean, keeping him up means that he gets mighty blowed by uh, Ramped up potentially, but also doesn't look like he's going to. Because Andrew will still be trying to win this. The problem with Andrew is like, how do you win this? It's so hard, isn't it? Maybe uh, hitting him with my ball was the play, even though it means getting uh, getting around to hit back and everything. It just seems so difficult. Like it seems so difficult to win this. As Andre, I don't even know how you could envision doing it. I guess foul tackle palming and fouling. Yeah, there's a there's a hobo to tackle palm. Reroll it maybe. There's, there's a, even an argument for a reroll there, isn't it? Like he's got a high roll so much. Like this is, this is an absolute nightmare game. Got to defend against the bulls as well because the bulls are incredible. Argument for saving the uh, dirty player for against the uh, claw pommer, but then also there's a strong argument for just using it every turn because the only way you're going to win is by dicing him and fouling every turn. It gives you more chance of dicing him. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Like a lot of the bad moves end up being good if it's the only way you can win. Doesn't pile on again. Really doesn't want to expose his claw pommer to the DP. Which I don't think he would have done then, right? The, the bull could have come around and tagged the dirty player. I quite like doing that. <laughs> there are definitely objectively bad moves, find me. But yeah, that, I think a lot of the I think uh, you know a lot of the things that Artemis calls terrible are for, well not a lot. Some of the things that Artemis calls terrible are from being, you know, you can't read the minds of the people playing, right? So I try not to call things terrible if I don't see why they're doing something. But, you know, sometimes it will be terrible, won't it? Sometimes it will be not what I would have done. And sometimes it will be very justified because they had a, an interesting idea that I didn't see. French kiss. Fantastic. Hello, Storm.
Hey, hey, hey. Wait, that's not Stoll. Stoll's not a Scouser, is he? He's Yorkshire and Andorran. But he's not a Scouser. Oh. Okay, yeah, he's moving house. Like, what? This is just this is just exposing the hit on the ball. What the hell? Is he gonna foul with the hobgoblin? Just for the chance of a removal. Nothing. Oh god. <laughs> He's not dicing him. Uh, it's strength six, wrestle, break, tackle, mighty blow. Move five. So he's like he's a he's a mummy rather than a tomb guardian, I think. But I guess he is a tomb guardian in this. But he is he is a mummy. Well, in the fluff he's a mummy. He doesn't have to care, so he is a mummy, isn't he? He is a mummy because he doesn't have to care. So he's definitely a mummy. So three stats and three skills. Yeah, I mean, in the fluff he's a mummy because it's ramped up. But he's he's he looks like a uh, tomb guardian in this, doesn't he? I mean, he is a mummy though. Like in the fluff he's a mummy. So, but you know, for like for for star players, like Zug is a. Uh, Zug is like a based off a of black orc, isn't he? Essentially, even though he's a human, a human. Oof. And Ripper not having really stupid. See, Ripper, Ripper, the star player big guys came before the rookie big guys, so that's why. Oh God, this is. Uh, this is. Uh, Dangerous, isn't it? Dangerous. Oh. Oh, is that was that a bad move? Because now now he doesn't have to uh surf his own player to surf the ball carrier. Yes, Zug is a human blocker in, in the fluff, but like in the game he's like kind of based off a black orc blocker, isn't he? You can argue that that's what his base stat line is. I guess you could also argue like it's a double move bust human line or something. That's what it is. There you go, there's a removal and a camera change because Blood Bowl 2 sucks. Yeah, Zug is from the time when humans and orcs had the same stat line. <laughs> And had the same positions, you just had orc catchers. <laughs> and orc catchers and human blockers. He could have uh he could have done things differently, right? He could have uh he could have blocked there, blocked there, blocked there, and then blitz surfed. But he hasn't done that. And he doesn't have to, to be fair, does he? He doesn't have to, he can just do this. Zug is strength 5, yeah. There will be Amazon blockers that are uh, stronger than Zug. Which is a bit stupid if you ask me. He is strength 5, but he's a strength up blocker, isn't he? He was, he was a double strength up blocker in the old rules. There is still a bug where it only skips the animation if Regen works. He's like in the fluffy seven foot tall and like maybe half ogre. A bit like uh, a bit like the mountain. <laughs> there will be strength six Amazon blockers, yes, they start at strength four. So there will definitely there will definitely be strength six Amazon blockers. Faux show. This is a, a rather negative turn five, isn't it? He got himself trapped and he's having to run all the way back on turn five. 
It's very mean, Gadenic. Should be ashamed of yourself. I would just have blood strength six Amazon with blodge and Adge fall. <laughs> <laughs> and move eight. <laughs> Why not? Seems pretty good, doesn't it? Eight six four eight blodge. Seems like an all right player. Match five is also good. Tackles decent, isn't it? So this maybe is a bit too much of an overcommit back to the centre here by Krippy. Um, not even maybe. I think that was definitely an overcommit back to the centre. In my opinion. Which isn't worth much. But there you go. Just some guy on the internet. It's funny, isn't it? Krippy played terribly against uh, Elliot last season. But, uh, playing fine here. Well, that, that was a bit of an overcommit. Not terrible, but bit of an overcoming. The Kerpom gets the 1D pow. Disgustrous 1D against a wrestler. Still refuses to pile on. It's not really free box, right? Because of the guard, and uh, and it's also turn seven. <laughs> Maybe a uh, ram touch should have blitzed just to try and avoid going down one nil at a half. Is he in range? No. Maybe he should have been in range last turn. As like crap as it would have been. Maybe he should have been in range because now he's not. Yeah, he wasn't, he's not in range. So yeah, maybe his last turn he should have like made the ball a bit less safe to just get in range because uh, as it was. Here you go, instant 2D. Maybe you could have put it in between. Like obviously this is less likely to have tackle zones on it. But also you don't really want to pick it up over here, do you? So I maybe push it there so you can jam in on this guy for next turn. Nice chain for the curve palm. Oh, and then chain him in there as well, lovely. Finally pile on. Yes. Instant removal. You can get the... You can get the uh... So this is pretty sick, isn't it? Doing all of that to clear the tackle zone. And now you can go for the pickup. Oh. Remove the DP to make the... Uh, to make the pylon really safe. Oh, no! Wow, that's so lame. That's genuinely so lame, isn't it? Oh, he's in range with four GFIs. <laughs> oh, I hate, I hate this. I would have definitely gone for the pickup with the, uh, with the pull. This pull. Oh, maybe he wasn't in range, actually. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Fuck off, game. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yes, we couldn't get in range anyway, so he had to do this dodge double GFI to get in range with anybody. But I guess he could have uh, he could have picked it up with a bull still just to have it. Like last action, he could have gone for the bull pick up, so he'd have it for the handoff. So I guess the you know I guess marking the blitz route was fine, right? But I would have I would have disregarded the chance of the Kenry scoring. Rightly or wrongly. Gets the pick up. 4 2 2 to score. Oh no, 3 4 4 4. 4 4 2 2. Gets the first two. <laughs> God, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's pretty disgusting. Yeah, I didn't need to pull it all. Just a chaff and a dream. Yeah, I mean, that's... That was like a pretty dream half for Andrew, right? You only had one player removed. And still got absolutely zero traction. And you know, okay, unlucky to be one nil down, but he got absolutely nowhere in the entire half, <laughs> which is uh, not great, not fantastic. Ooh, a blitz. Well, that's great for a responsive team like Kemri. I'm sure this will uh, really put the uh, cat amongst the pigeons. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, he just chose the skull. He just gave up. He just gave up on turn nine. Carry on! <laughs> PI versus PI chooses the skull. Oof. Not what I would have done. Oof. That's nah, fair enough, isn't it? It is fair enough, like these kind of games. Get out. Uh, get frustrated like it, it only happened the other one only happened because he kept doing it for like ages the occasional fuck this result is uh, is totally acceptable I believe just my opinion Nice blitz, mate. Where'd you get it? Well, he hasn't given up, so he's carried on, so no need for Garion. No need for Garion. He's playing properly now. Maybe Krippy said to him, play properly. Somebody said to me, play properly, didn't they? <laughs> I don't remember what the context was, but it was something. Like either vanity passing or... Or like, you know, something, and he was like, play properly. <laughs> I 
Oh, nice though. This is a bit tricky then, eh? That's that's been a removal and uh, a stun, but no heat on the ball and not many players. Did you nick? Oh god. That was pretty that was pretty scummy to be fair. No offence. But I could see somebody not in on the joke not being very happy, you know. Oh a streamer. Oh that was me. Yeah, sorry, I thought you I just read opponent. I just read opponent. As long as your opponent was okay with it. Uh, Nick was just trolling in his <laughs> in his in his GG tour game. He was winning so easily. He was just BMing his opponent, <laughs> having a having a fun time. Which is fair enough, isn't it? I guess playing playing Blood Bowl for fun is fine, but you can understand somebody not being very happy because it looks like you. Ripping the piss out of him <laughs> by playing the way he played. But there you go. I mean, other things as well, right? There were other things, but uh, there were other things. But that was that was the biggest one for sure. The spike in the bottom in the end zone instead of scoring was was definitely the big the, the biggest thing. And then it nearly led to a counter score. And if it was me, the bear would have caught the pass. Yeah. And it would have been totally deserved, and I would have been fine with it. Meanwhile, I had to scrap against the dice in every single game. <laughs> Maximum adversity, but I feel like it did okay anyway. I didn't. Uh, I wasn't so dejected as, as I thought I would have been. I'm actually starting to get a hit on the ball now with these, these gang fouls are somehow generating a forward threat. We're right back again though. I mean this is going to force a pass isn't it? Like This should definitely force a pass here. He can put even one guy down. Makes it dangerous. This is pretty terrible by Creepy, I guess. No offence. <laughs> but... To end up in this situation... Given the teams... And being 1-0 up... Maybe he shouldn't have... Uh, and, and this is after Andre picking the skull as well, right? I don't like this blitz. I, I, I get that it frees this guy up, but it's it's all it's also trapping him. Right? These two could have just could have blitzed him and gone down and then dodged off, or moved both down. I would have really liked one forward threat. You know. <laughs> yeah, sick. You can say play somebody played terribly, can't you? Like. You can say that somebody played terribly, man. Do you know what was funny? Shall I, I've got. Shall I? Shall I confess something? Sometimes I go on to rebel, very, very, very rarely because I don't give a shit. But sometimes I go to the rebel Discord and search for my name and see what the massive losers have been saying about me. And uh, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny the other the other night. I I logged on and. Uh, They'd been talking a lot of shit, and uh, it was very funny. <laughs> there was a point to that somewhere, but I've forgotten what the point was, but it was very funny. The amount of seething about me still is is very, very amusing. Oh, but they were saying like how, like how toxic I was insulting people when I was casting them, but I wasn't insulting them, like God. Saying you've done a bad Blood Bowl play isn't fucking insulting you in any way, is it? Like, imagine, imagine thinking 
that some guy saying that you're playing a children's board game on the internet was poor somehow translates to them insulting you. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they barred, they barred Artemis. I'm probably banned. I'm probably banned because I quit mid-season. Um, but Art was barred. Yeah, one of one of them called me Alex Jones, which I thought was a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah, I go there to search my name. Yeah, yeah, it amuses me. Like I, I don't get wound up by any of it. I don't get wound up by it. Just, uh... <laughs> Fuck off, Blood Mountains. <laughs> is, uh, is the answer to that. <laughs> Not the same as Alex Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Build the pyramids, yeah. <laughs> is the earth hollow? I don't know. Probably what he believes. <laughs> oh, he probably doesn't believe anything. To be fair, he probably doesn't believe anything he says, does he? He's probably just doing it to try and make money. So, you know. He probably doesn't literally believe a single fucking word he says, does he? There you go, he gets, he gets his lob on. It's a great. That's a great, uh, a great punt, isn't it? Unbelievable. Rick Reckless tier punt there. Unbelievable. I do believe that some Blood Bowl players are shit by some people. I don't believe it makes them shit human people, human beings. Except Andre rolling quad schools there. That was terrible. That makes him an absolute son of a bitch. <laughs> Imagine rolling quad schools there. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> what an absolute idiot rolling quad skulls. <laughs> I've I've rolled uh, I've rolled quad skulls twice in GG Tour. In four games, I rolled quad skulls twice. Um, expressed in this stream. So are yeah, not you drop it. You I drop it on a mod <laughs> modified one as well. In in this rule set, so. He was throwing it there with like a minus one, so he would have uh, he would have dropped it on a one or a two. How it works in uh, so if you and if you do it on a long bomb, it would be you'd drop it on a one, two, or a three. How it works in Blood Bowl three will be on a one you drop it, and on a two or a three you throw it in a random direction, <laughs> which is going to be fucking stupid. But there you go. Yes, score on him. Build the ball carrier. He could go to 49. I guess you could try to ice move 3, though. Trolls have got all their skills. So, yeah, I guess get it on the show hands. He might get blocked. Yeah, blue ball 3 is going to be a joke for passing. Their effort, in their effort to improve passing, they killed it. Absolutely idiotic. Well, in Blood Bowl 3, won't have redraft, right? So the meta will be orcs. Um, orcs are disgusting without redraft. Because they can actually get loads of skills on the black orcs. That, well, not the black orcs, they're big ones that don't die and have movement 5. So, orcs are going to be an absolute monster team. Yes, and also Snotlings with Morgan Griff, yep. Yep. Yeah, no corp on there. The natural predators have been removed. So, I guess some people will take Claw Mighty still, but, you know, who cares? You, you'll have tackle for the, uh, you'll have more speed and tackle for the elves, and you'll have strength and just as much guard for the dwarves.
I mean, the thing is, you won't like if you've got an org team, it won't be long before you won't be able to face those teams anyway, right? Because of the TV gap, that presumably will be a thing. It's an interesting one, Blood Mantis. I mean, the people who make the rules aren't very good at playing the game, which a lot of people argue doesn't matter. But I think it does matter. Like, I think they should understand the mechanics. <laughs> and I think they pretty clearly don't. <laughs> so, there you go. Right, congratulations, Krupi. Commiserations, Andri. Thank you for watching, everybody. And don't forget to leave a like and surprise. Surprise? Leave a like and surprise, because it's Chorf Prize. <laughs> you could have called it the law of Chorf Prize, right? Because of... Uh, because of... It could be Henry Cavill related then. Four. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and sub like and subscribe. That's a fuck me. I can't speak. Stay fantastic. Bye now. <laughs>